All right, it's one of my favorite parts of the morning, Animal Crossing Pocket Camp Fortune Cookies. We have opened up the normal cookie, due for a karaoke performance of a lifetime, and what do we get? A fire extinguisher. That'll be good for when I'm setting up uh, the mad scientist laboratory that I want to do. But what I'm really excited to share with you guys isn't that, it's da na 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 Da -na -na -na! Fauna's Toy Day Cookie! Oh, am I gonna get it? Look at all the cute stuff you can get if you manage to open up Fauna's Toy Day Cookie. This is adorable! Do you know how inspired this makes me feel for zoo crafting? Majorly inspired. I want all of this. None of this is bad except maybe getting this Toy Day sweater over and over again. So let's see what we've got. Alright, alright, let's do it. Come on, little Siri, you can do it! Come on, little Siri! Oh, 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 it's a gold one. We'll find a seat on the bus. Oh my gosh. <sighs> okay, so no luck with that little fortune cookie, but at least I have a cute little ugly Christmas sweater, which Chips happens to love, by the way. He really likes ugly Christmas sweaters, like garishly ugly Christmas sweaters. So at least I have that. Uh, but today is actually going to be a major work day for me because I'm falling behind. Imagine that. Uh, you have so many projects that you're picking up, like those excited puppies. But I think that's because I've been very distracted lately. I've been leaving open my Discord. I have been leaving over on Instagram. And those things are naturally built to distract you. So I'm going to be very focused today, which means that I'm probably not going to have a ton of little snippets of what I do. Who knows? Maybe it'll be nice to check in with you guys. And I'm going to be recording niche and finally trying to make Mew Lives Kitten Rescue Cafe. That is my other goal for the day as well. And when we're done with all of the work, I need to record anywhere from 10 to 12 videos today. I can open up something from the Christmas pile. The fa la 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 little unboxing pile that I have made for myself. I actually had this really funny moment last night where I felt really proud when I looked down at that and I was like, hey, you made a pretty strict allowance for yourself. You made yourself earn the fun money to order those things. And then how did you choose to spend it? Supporting independent artists on wonderful Black Friday sales that they were having. So I'm really, I, I was really happy because I didn't feel guilty to have that little group of stuff. And it really shocked me on my pen haul video that I did recently from the charity pen cell for the Native American Right Foundation. Uh, rights foundation that a lot of you guys were actually like hey siri good on you for treating yourself and i was like what the heck <laughs> uh i i was really thank you that made me feel a lot better actually i grew up in a kind of culture where uh, i was told i was super selfish if you if you do stuff for yourself like if you got yourself an ice cream cone you had to get one for the whole family or you had to get one for a stranger um and there's benefits in that kind of gratitude but if you take that a little too seriously and then you grow up you have a hard time just savoring the things that you've earned and that actually sets the stage for not being able to appreciate your own abilities so it's okay if you have measured and you have worked hard and it is all within balance to treat yourself, I'm finding, but it's really scary and I feel like a goose for finding it so scary. But we'll say of the more serious, like, philosophical talks, can you tell I live with a philosopher? We talk about these kinds of things all the time. Uh, for not Vlogmas, Vlogmas is about twinkling things and today the twinkling are my earrings, these really cool holographic earrings that I like 3D, look at that, that I got a long, 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 long time ago from like a baby supply shop of all things that I walked into when I was with some friends. <laughs> but they're really cool and they have ammonites in them, the little seed dwelling ammonites. And I'm wearing my leafy soot necklace because, and holding my little mole, my little mole nicheling because I'm getting ready to play a lot of whims. So hopefully whims and hopefully the little kitten rescue cafe today and I can report in on what I thought about how things went with that in just a second. And we're going to start our morning with a little bit more vlogmas magic sticker style with our advent calendar of stickers. So yesterday was circusy, day before that Christmas alpacas, day three, is it figgy pudding? It might be figgy pudding. Let's see what this is. Oh, I'm so excited. I love opening these. I love getting stickers, which is really good because I have a whole bunch of grab bags of stickers down there. All right, you guys ready? 
Where's this one today? <gasps> oh my gosh! What am I looking at here? It's so colorful. Look at Long Lion. <laughs> Okay, I think they're cute and their pop packs are definitely more my style than the retro stuff because look at this. We have Long Lion, Long Alpaca, Long Whale. We've got Butterflies. We have, is that a sheep and some um, juice, we'll say? Oh my gosh. We've got a really funky looking sheep. We've got a little turtle with a hat on his back. <gasps> they should do turtle shells in niche. I need to write these ideas down. <gasps> Penguins in a pea pod set. You guys don't understand. I have a new theme for the next year and it's gonna be really emotional to share with you guys and explain why I have a theme, but it has something to do with pea pods. So this is so cute. Oh my gosh. And is it, is this, this looks like Apple from uh, like Adventure Time. That totally looks like her. Oh my gosh. Now I just wanna bake a bunch of pies, which I'm about to do in our Sims uh, Cat Cafe series. So huzzah, that's a good sign. Ugly Christmas sweaters and long lions. What a great way to start the morning. Now time to get to the niche links. Would you guys like to explain to everybody why our niche video is going to uh, feature you? Hmm? Hmm? Are you gonna explain, Pumpkin, how you decided that you just needed to go on a chirping spree? I hope that you can apologize to everyone's ears. Maybe be a little bit more demure on the next episode. Hmm. This is, this is, this is, you, 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 I can't even pretend to be mad at you guys. Uh, you are my little friends. You are my companions. You add such color and love to my life, even if you are going to tweet my ears out while I am trying to be a professional YouTuber and record. <laughs> you geese. Lunch break, a beautiful vegan sandwich with tofurkey and vegan cheese, it's so good. Little bean chips, more tea, and I am watching Carrie Cakes, which if you guys haven't seen her, she lives in Korea, she's super sweet. And this is her latest foster puppy, so just a nice little eight minute catch of my breath before we resume the schedule. The hours tick by, time is passing. I have only completed four out of the 12 videos that I need to do for the day. But with a little bit more work, we will almost be set up and ready to go for the Mew Lives Cat Cafe series. I am replacing every single lot in the entire Brindleton Bay area so that hopefully there'll be lots of places to visit and explore and have fun with. But it's just exciting and it takes forever to set up a new series. So I'm really hoping I can stick with it and get this done. Ah, oh, good. That lot went down. Time to put down another. I'm waiting for some things to process and watching the latest video from Molly, aka The English Simmer. If you guys haven't checked her out, definitely do. She is honestly one of my favorite simmers out there. And I love how so many of her sims are just completely diverse and usually represent some of the queer community, which I think is awesome. So go give Molly your support. She's really cool. It has been a very, very busy day. <laughs> Oh my goodness, okay, um, so I'm finishing up processing the vlogmas from yesterday and I'm noticing that it's 38 minutes. I watched back though and I pretty much pulled out everything I felt comfortable with, but it was really peaceful. It was really peaceful to look at what people had commented on and to listen to myself talk about the experience of growth and gratitude. So I really hope you guys will enjoy it, but by contrast, today's vlog is probably going to be very short because I've actually been very busy behind the scenes all day recording and it's been, it's been fun. It's been fun. <laughs> and it's been so busy again because of all the traveling that we are going to be doing. So not only is December the most important month for me to possibly be putting out videos, but it is also going to be my busiest month other than the, you know, time that we kind of left for London for two weeks. But I guess actually we're leaving for the trips for three weeks. So it's busy. <laughs> So yeah, don't get too distressed or worried. I am not pushing myself too hard. Every time I feel like I need to kind of cool off for a little bit, I'll go down and visit with Chips, who at this point is mostly just muttering to me in multiple languages that I can't speak fluently while he does his research for the end of semester. So the whole household is feeling busy, including Chickenberry, who needs to go to bed soon. Go to bed, Chickenberry. And just when she had the opportunity for a well-timed chirp, she lets it slide by. But all right, so yeah, today was really fun. It was very 
very busy. I was less twinkling today, like the theme of the month of December, and much more like a puppy who had gotten wrapped up in all of the the Christmas lights and was running around the house trying to untangle herself and occasionally being distracted by her own tail and spinning in circles. That kind of sums up my day. <laughs> But we had a lot of fun. Uh, I hope you guys will enjoy the things that came out, which includes the Mew Lives Cat Cafe series that is now over on the main channel. Uh, basically, what do I want to say about that that sort of focuses on twinkling? Well, I want to jump into my joy moments and then jump into opening one of the unboxings, actually. Uh, and today, my joy moments that I have so far, since the day is still young, even though it's like 8 pitch black it's been pitch black for hours already because it's Michigan in winter <laughs> but um, the day is still young and I've still got quite a bit to do my hair is drying from the shower uh, so that I'm fresh refreshed ready to go I'm gonna tuck them in by turning the lights off and get back to recording some fun things that I'm not going to spoil you guys on so focusing on twinkling and joy moments Today, one of my big joy moments is actually related to the work I did because I have had this idea for the Cat Cafe series in my head for months and months and months. And I just couldn't make it live up to what I had in my head. I wanted to do a machinima, I wanted to have like all these cutesy angles, and I just realized if I wanted to make it happen, I just needed to do it. And then when I actually realized that I wanted to set the game up to play it how I like to, starting pretty much with nothing and having my sims build up their wealth over time, I suddenly realized that making those cute machinimas of having a bunch of kittens running around it wasn't going to work for an intro of a series where you start with nothing. That sounds a little more complex, but basically I'm just saying that with my creative project that I have been putting off and putting off and putting off because I wanted it to somehow magically turn out perfect when I finally paid attention to it, did it. And I'm happy the further away I get with actually having just published it, gotten it out, pushed the button and just let it fly free, the better I feel with what was achieved. I wish I could have done a lot of things differently. But I'm feeling really grateful and actually to the point where it is now one of my joy moments that it's done and that sure I wish I had done it a little differently I wish I had been able to polish it a bit more but for my current skills and the time I have in the end I'm happier that it's out there and I can start this new adventure and just try to develop my skills it wasn't what I had perfected in my head for months but it's free in the world and I can direct myself to instead of just trying to get it started improving my skills with how I want to play with it and then maybe I can have a, a new version of it in the future. And that's a joy moment for me because I often end up freezing up and clutching or getting stage fright and not being able to create content because I'll get so caught up in trying to make it perfect for the first episode or perfect for the next episode and then nothing ever happens like with zoo crafting or cloud sagas or so many other things because it cannot live up to what's in my head maybe one day my skills will be there but right now they're not and every time i would try to get started i would just freeze and be like oh we'll just you know we'll bump that to the next month i have other stuff that should probably go out this month anyway so moral of the story is I was freezing up on it and I still wish it could have lived up to the perfect version in my head but I think now that it's done and I, the further and further away I get from having just released it and the more I go okay well I really wanted to see this in here how can I add that in on the next one and I actually start developing the practical I'm working with it skills of doing it the better off I'm gonna be than just sitting around waiting for it to one day miraculously burst forth perfect from the first go. So develop your skills and tackle the things that you're afraid to do because they're not perfect because you'll have more opportunities in the future. <laughs> You could always have a, uh, what do they, what do they call it, a sequel, or you could always have a uh, season two, or, or a new take on it, or flip it around somehow. You could always do it again, but the longer you wait to create at all, the further away you're actually going to be to developing those skills 
most likely. <laughs> so yeah, that's the joy moment for me. That I put out the Cat Cafe series and I wasn't entirely happy with it. And then I'm actually happy that I recognize that because it means next time I'm gonna go, let's just try to do one little thing different. And then the next time we'll do two little things different and just build it up over time. So enough rambling about that. You can tell it kind of got under my skin, right? And my other two joy moments are actually uh, that Chips brought home something from the library for me. He got me a bird bookmark. Look at this. It is a blue jay and he knows how much blue jays mean to me because uh, they represent him for a very special secret reason that I won't share with you guys just yet. But it is a University of Michigan bookmark that they gave him when he went to pick up a gigantic stack of Chinese textbooks. I, I can't even show you. It's like we had to buy two new bookshelves. We have to buy another new bookshelf. I'm not joking. Our entire downstairs is now just like a wall of bookshelves. I'm not joking. <laughs> I would show you, but that's his office, so it's off limits. Um, but yeah, and our bedroom already is just the bed and bookshelves. So when you live with a historian and a philosopher, and they study multiple languages and periods of history, and they're a professor, suddenly your house is full of books and it's amazing, even if I can't read half of them. <laughs> so I'm really, really tickled that he saw this and he got me a bird bookmark because he knows how much I like it. So that was really, really sweet of him. And the third joy moment that I will share with you guys right now is just that I'm so grateful for something that one of my patrons said tonight. And I won't tell you exactly who because I don't know if they'd feel comfortable with that. But they mentioned they really love my Sims Medieval series, which is one of our like least performing series. And views don't really bother me anymore. I really try to detach myself from using views as a metric of if I enjoyed something. But I love Sims Medieval. And it's okay that it's not popular. I'm still going to make more, especially for the rest of the month, because our Patreon postcards are going to be about... Uh, Queen Briar Rose in Sims Medieval but I just love finding oh good somebody likes it and like being able to cheer that on so it meant a lot because she said that just when I was feeling discouraged about the Cat Cafe series and she's like I just love the Sims Medieval I've loved it since the first episode and it just like pew, on my mood I was so like happy i'm sure there's other people who enjoy it too and it doesn't matter how popular it is but man it just brought back that like very first sort of feeling that i used to get at the very 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 beginning of doing things when it's like oh my gosh something that i love someone else loves and i think that's why i love the sims is because when i make those sims episodes i'm able to go i love this and it's okay if no one ever watches it because I love creating this and I love doing it this way and I love these stories and I love these sims and that's why I have sims even though it's like not very popular on our channel. I don't really even look at views anymore because I feel like it can sway my mood too much with loving it for myself. So for myself, I love sims stories and I love telling them. And so it has that same sort of like giddy excitement of like meeting somebody who loves the book that you love or really loves the art that you love. Uh, Cause to me, it's not like this person's telling me they love me for the stories. It feels like we're getting together and like squeeing over uh, Queen Briar Rose or we're like, can you just believe what the Batarians are doing? Oh my gosh. And I can't believe that the spy had a baby with that enchanted like frog king. It's really fun. It's like I have somebody to just like geek out over their stories because it feels more like they're the ones telling the story. So yeah, I was. that's another joy moment. That was really fun. Uh, but okay, now I'm rambling on too long. The other vlog is almost done handbreaking, and I must carry on with the day. There is more to do. Some amazing things happened in our Star Stable series, in our Whim series, uh, and I do want to see if I can maybe visit with our cat cafe again before the night is over. So, we're gonna open something. We're gonna be opening. After thinking about it, I spent the day, I started with the Whims, I dressed up for the whims because I wore my earrings and my necklace to help kind of immerse myself in focus for the whims. So out of all the packages that I had over under our little glittering uh, Christmas tree that we put out yesterday, I have a package from Oplesiosaur. Oplesiosaur is one of my favorite pen creators and one of my favorite artists. I've had some of her pens and some of her work for quite a while. She actually closed her shop 
this week and I will link to it or at least her Instagram I'll link to her Instagram because she's rebranding after the end of the year so she closed her shop and had this major like blowout clearance of all of her amazing pens and creations and closed up so that she can come back next year with a new brand and a new look. I happen to have loved her current stuff, so I went and I got some of her grab bags, and we're gonna be opening one of those grab bags today. So in here, oh my gosh, I wonder, I wonder how she's packaged it. I think she may have just all packaged them in that one. We maybe I was gonna open two grab bags, but if this is all of them in one grab bag because I ordered two of them Life's about to get kind of interesting, but this is oh plesiosaur I'm gonna just gently wiggle this open Okay, I think she has packaged it. She's always packaged her stuff so cute so that they are in two bags They are in two bags. Okay, so I think we have one bag here maybe and then we have more of her stuff in here. I'm gonna take a look to see what's in here. So this may be her wildlife pin grab bag where she has her little wildlife stuff. And this is gonna be what we open up today. Siri, congratulations. This is for finishing all of those videos that you're supposed to do, at least 10, you're supposed to, or eight, and you're supposed to do 12, so keep going. But congratulations, Siri, Merry Christmas. Open this for yourself. Okay, I'm gonna open it. it has a cute little plesiosaur on the back as well. All right. So this is her wildlife pin grab bag. Let's see what we got. Oh my gosh, there's a lot more pins in here than I thought. Whoa, whoa, okay. <laughs> All right, so here are the pins that she has put into this grab bag. Let's see what we got. A slow loris, we have a slow loris pin. Okay, give me just a second. I'm gonna take him out because he is so cute and I was actually thinking that I want to uh, adopt a slow loris for Christmas as well but here's the slow loris it is so cute oh my gosh oh wow and then her butterfly pen this is her Alexandria butterfly I think it's a Queen Alexandria butterfly pen and it is quite beautiful it is definitely one I wanted that slow loris for sure and here's her Queen Alexandria pin as well in the grab bag. Beautiful. There's five pins in here. I forgot about that. All right, this is gonna be very exciting. And the next one is, oh, her Jaguar. I think this is the Jaguar pin or the Amur leopard. I'm gonna have to double check. I think it's actually Amur leopard, which is another endangered species right here. Whoa. Followed by, what do we get in this one? Ping! I think these are Adele penguins. I'm really going to need a way to display all of my wildlife pens because I'm beginning to get quite the significant collection. We might have to, after the new year, uh, maybe do a pin haul video because this is getting kind of amazing. But here we go, her penguins, if it will focus on them. I'm, I'm pretty sure these are the Adele penguins. And then the final pin in this particular grab bag is the San Francisco garter snake, which I also love. I am so excited to have so many of her pieces. This is a big pin too. I didn't realize it was gonna be so large. That's so colorful. I found some of the snake pins you can find out there are kind of muted in their coloring, and I really like the vibrant pop to make people realize like it's a cool little snake. So these are awesome. This is my first little set of grab bag pins from her. We have another bag, and we actually have uh, items in the other bag to sort through as well. But I think those five pins are enough for now. I have more to do, and I have rambled on way too long again. I will endeavor to make these vlogs shorter in the future, as always. But I don't know, I guess I just really had to tell you guys, if you're waiting to make something perfect, like I have been with zoo crafting, cloud sagas, warrior cats, uh, like I have been with the Sim series, like I have been with so many other things. You may be freezing up, and the best thing for you to do is focus on the advice that Chips always gives me. Don't let the enemy of the good be perfect. So just focus on making good stuff, and don't let perfection be your enemy. And that is going to get you further in the end. Kind of like the tortoise and the hare, I suppose. <laughs> At the very least, you'll free up all that energy that you put into worrying 
and you can start breaking it down from this huge monumental thing that you just want to be perfect into something that's kind of imperfect but now that it's out there and now that it's done you can start breaking it apart and looking at the pieces of it that you can improve later so here's to an adorable cat cafe series and i will see you guys tomorrow bye guys